All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen, with a friend of mine, Harmonica Shaw. Harmonica Shaw is one of the greatest blues harmonica players in the country. He was born in California. Shaw also spent time in Somerville, Texas, with his blues harmonica and guitar playing grandfather, Sam Dawson, who played, who would be out in the field singing. And that's how Shaw got his passion for the blues. Welcome to the show, Harmonica Shaw. Thank you, uh, Pablo. How you Thank feel today? Well, I feel all right. feel like talking too much. You got that? You got the harmonica with you? Oh, yeah. All right, Tell yeah. me, why is the harmonica so important to the blues? Well, through the experience people went through working in the fields and their tr troubles and personal troubles, the harp was an instrument that went orally in your mouth, and whatever you felt and lived through, it come out through that harmonica. So you, a person blow a harmonica, you can tell what kind of person he is just by the way he blew it. something experience uh, I would say blues come from black people in America I would say blues is experience that our black people lived through and actually went through and experienced it so to, to ease their burden and troubles they would sing all their troubles when they develop a spirit within themselves that just uh, made them happy and want to continue you got one of them harmonicas in your oh, pocket yeah, oh yeah pull it off for me let me let me Call a little, a big river, actually a little marine band. 
give us a, a feeling of uh, what you would used to hear, how they was doing the fields and. You've been talking about your woman. Lord, man, you could see mine. Every time she started loving, she bring eyesight to the blind. All right. Now, Jimmy Reed was one of my favorites. He had a different style. How did yeah. this style go? Let me show you. Jimmy Reed blow the A harmonica. Yeah, he made that song, You Got Me Running, yeah. You Got well, Me that's, Hiding. That's what made Jimmy Reed famous right yeah. here. What made Jimmy Reed famous is the sound like this. He got him there. He always mainly hit. Yeah, yeah. Them high keys was made. Yeah, he mastered yeah. the high keys. I would yeah. say he's the best I ever heard on them high keys. And next to you. Well, because I, don't know I ain't never heard that. nobody as good. I as learned from him and Uncle <laughs> Jesse. It was guys around Detroit that blowed these. So, who are some of the guys you used to play with? Oh, I used to play with Yard Dog. He taught me a lot about the harp. The Butler Twins, they taught me. They Eddie Burns, uh, Willie D. Warren, Uncle Jesse White, all those men taught me day and, day and night about the harp. Now, you, uh, you, got, you have toured across the United States as well in Europe, yeah. Russia, Japan, Australia, yeah. uh, and you still do things for free uh, <laughs> to stay closer to your roots That's because, right. you know, you, you, you give back that way. But you got a number of CDs. How can we get hold to your music? How can we find CDs? Uh, well, if you see me playing somewhere, I'll call Electrified Records where up in Toronto where I recorded. They, he told me, I understand, I get they're doing pretty good nationally. And, uh, you know, it keeps my name out there. Yeah, yeah. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't do it. So, ladies and gentlemen, we always try to bring entertainment at the end of each show just to make it nice. We appreciate everybody for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back. This is Detroit Class 313, the show that brings solutions to the issues and concerns of women. Thank you for watching. We love you. We appreciate, appreciate you for watching. Thank you. And Harmonica Shaw, thanks for coming to the Thank show. You.